Well, I think what he did was he anticipated clearing him. I think he sent it in there to do a slide job and then was was a little bit short. So, you know, you see Busher down the racetrack right here and Reddick's like, I got to go and tries to dive it in there. And I think he wanted to slide up in front of him. But you see Busher bounce off the wall and he, he just he knew he needed to pinch him just like Brad Kozlowski pinched him earlier. The reason he bounced off the wall, he throttled back up, tried to stay in position knowing he had to hit the wall. Man, both cars have right rear flats unbelievable laid it right back in brad keselowski's hands 110 races it's been since he's last won remember when the stat guys told us the stage two winner with this next gen car had never finished better than 25th here it bit reddick yes it did stat guys rule matt mccall brad keselowski i think all of that was set up by how hard brad keselowski ran the 45 on that last restart well i, I you know i think it Look, the six and the 45, they, they got together and made that same mistake, and they yeah. got away with it without having flat tires. And then you see, um, you know, the 17 and the 45 make contact, and they both wound up with, with flat right rear tires. So, you know, they, the six and the 45 got lucky, but it worked out for Brad. Now, more bad news for Tyler Reddick. You have to have all four tires completely inside the commit box to have a legal pit stop. He did not. So commitment line violation had to do a pass through penalty. Well, we were watching it as he pitted there and it looked close out the window. Yep. Unfortunately, he didn't. You could hear yesterday after qualifying. Brad Keselowski's just unbridled desire to win and know how close they are. And it's all paid off right here today. Well, the thing that I love about Brad Kozlowski is, is he went to RFK and said, I'm going to turn this place around. And he is that type of leader and person and has made this company better. He spent so much time um, working on making the company right. And he hasn't been to victory lane, but he's been fast enough to. Don't give him no. this win yet. This Gibbs is coming. Ty yeah. Gibbs is coming, ladies and gentlemen. The last lap, Gibbs was three-tenths faster. He's three-quarters of a second behind with three to go. Well, I'm bad at math, Mike. Bring it around here to two to go. You know that kid's giving it his all. Ty Gibbs trying to become the first first-time winner at Darlington since Regan Smith. Clean track ahead, no lap traffic. Stay out of this fence. Get you a good, solid, comfortable lap. This is a huge win. Five times a bridesmaid. 110 races. Got to get around here to be official. This last lap is a lap Brad Kozlowski has been waiting, waiting three years to run. And you're right. He came over here, big gamble, put it on his shoulders and did it. Left a championship contending team and organization. White flag, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Well, Brad Kozlowski is four corners away from getting back into victory lane. He has done a fantastic job. We knew that this was a style of racetrack and we knew he had a good car yesterday, he qualified well, and that put him in position to do exactly what he's done today. RFK, they're here, they're back. Both of those cars were a factor and it's Brad Keselowski. So happy for this guy. Three years of trying. Since Talladega, April 21, Brad Keselowski wins the Goodyear 400. 36th career win. Ford's first win, too, by the way. Well, they have definitely made a whole bunch of ground from where they were 10 weeks ago. Appreciate it. No oh, effort today. A lot of drama at the end. Way to get through it, TJ. Appreciate your help. Love to have me an American flag down.